What up everybody? Instructor Beats back again here with our circle unit that we're going to be finding the circumference of a circle. So first of all, what is the circumference, right? The circumference is the perimeter of the circle. You've heard this before in the parts of the circle, but I just want to remind it of the circle. Now, the problem is it's hard to measure a curved object with a ruler, right? So how do we find the perimeter of a circle? So first of all, I'm going to give you the formula. Okay, the formula is 2 times pi times r. In other words, 2 pi r. This is how you find the circumference of a formula. If you figure this out, that will tell you the circumference. There you go. Now, where does that formula come from? In surprise, 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 it has to do with pi. So pi is the ratio right, of the circumference. There you go, to the diameter. Um, and again, we kind of talked about how Archimedes used the diameter of one, and then he used, um, and if you watch that video, it was really cool, he used a bunch of shapes on the outside and the inside to kind of start narrowing that distance, which is a great problem solving strategy. And he came up with an approximation of pi. So in other words, 3.14 equals circumference time, or divided by the diameter. Now, we get a pin. All we're gonna do is we're gonna use some algebra here. So if we know that pi is the circumference divided by the diameter, okay, all we have to do is solve and get circumference by itself. So I'm gonna rewrite this using variables. So I'm gonna say circumference divided by diameter. Well, to get rid of a division, I'm gonna do the inverse operation to make a one. I'm gonna divide by D, or sorry, multiply by D, which means I need to multiply by D over here. And so, my circumference formula is pi times the diameter will tell me the circumference of the circle. Now, typically you don't see it written that way. This goes all the way back to the parts of our circle. Typically what they do is they substitute the diameter for radius. So how many radiuses or how many radii do you need to make a diameter? Two radiuses is the same as one diameter, right? Because the radius is halfway across the circle, the diameter is the full way. We talked about that in our parts of the circle. So pi to r equals circumference. And that's another formula. Now math convention so says that we need to take the coefficient, we need to take that number and we need to put it at the front. So typically what you're gonna see is two pi r and that is going to tell you the circumference of your circle. So this is the most used formula, but this is the exact same thing as saying pi times the diameter because the diameter is equal to two r. So we just substituted the diameter for the radius. And that's where the formula for the circumference of a circle comes from. Let's use it. So here I have a compass and a ruler. Okay, so I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw a circle and we're just gonna solve for the circumference of it. So there we go. And let's just make it uh, four centimeters. So if I, oops, sorry. We'll make the radius four centimeters. If I draw that circle, okay and delete my ruler, move my compass. You can see, right, I, I can't measure, there's no edges to measure. That's why it's very, very hard to do with a ruler. But if we know that the radius was four centimeters, then we can use our use pi, okay, again, that number, that constant, that awesome number you're gonna see all the time to help us figure this out. So my circumference is going to equal two pi R. So 2 times pi, my radius is 4, is going to give you 8 pi. Now sometimes you would just write it like that because then it's assumed you would multiply the answer times 3.14. For these questions, do not use the pi button on your scientific calculator. We're going to um, use 3.14, which is kind of the accepted estimation of pi for these. That way we get the same answer. So if I do 8 times 3.14, that is going to give me 25 and 12 hundredths centimeters. So to get all the way around, it would be 25 and 12 hundredths centimeters. Let's do a U-try problem. A circle has a radius of 23 and 210 centimeters. What is the circumference of the circle? Um, so go ahead and pause it, try to solve it, and then push play, check your work. So I know my circumference, right, or the kind of the perimeter of the circle is going to equal to two pi, and so I'm going to do 2 times pi 
times 23.2. And I'm going to multiply all those together. And the circumference of the circle, or to get all the way around it, is 145.696 Oops. centimeters. All right, so I have a uh, U-try problem. Um, and so, again, recognizing, and this is why we took the time to teach you, not just teach you the formula, but teach you where it came from. Because sometimes in math, um, you need a different brush, right, to paint a picture. Okay, you can't use the same tool all the time. So you need to learn how to manipulate things, but have a conceptual understanding of where they came from so you can manipulate them correctly. So go ahead and pause the video here, try this problem, and then push play. So here we have a circumference of 78 inches, and we want to know the diameter of the circle. So my statement's going to say the diameter of the circle is blank inches okay so i have a circle the circumference is 78 so i'm going to go ahead and just use my uh, write down the circumference formula because i see circumference and diameter and i have 2 pi r now i'm going i have a diameter here okay so there's two different ways to do this you could either substitute this formula and make it pi times diameter because 2 r is the same thing as the diameter or solve for sol solve for r and then just multiply times 2 either one's going to work Either one, you got to plug in 78 here, and you are trying to figure out R, or 78 equals pi times, there we go. I'm going to divide by pi here, which means I'm going to divide by pi here, and I'm going to be left with, and again, we're going to use for pi 3.14. If you push the pi button on your calculator, your answer will be slightly different because the decimal places will affect your answer. So if I do 78 divided by 3.14, I'm going to get the diameter of my circle to be 24 and 8407, and I'll just stop there. Okay, it kept going a few more decimal places, and that would be inches. Same thing here, you could solve for r and then just multiply it times 2 to find your diameter. But again, that's what we're talking about. You can substitute, substitute make it easier on yourself, do less work if you know what the Sir, um, the circumference of the circle formula is and where it came from so you can manipulate it and change it.